Okay, here I have for you a couple different PBT exercises. So if you want to do them throughout the week, or if you're having trouble signing in to our Zoom class, you can always just hop on to this and do the exercises there if you're not able to see or hear or it's glitchy for you or whatever, if there are troubles getting onto the Zoom. Um, but, but mostly, sorry, my dog is going to come and join us. <laughs> but mostly, um, I'd really love for you to use this throughout the week. Um, if you don't have a whole lot going on and you have a, a day or a few days a week that you feel like you'd like a little more to do, um, hop on and do some PBT and also some point work. Those things, those will be really good, really good things to do um, for strength and conditioning, keep you uh, ready to dance when we finally get to get back into the studio, right? Okay, so we're going to start with just the rotation combination. You'll need either your big yoga ball or a chair or a couch or something. And you're going to put your feet, your legs, are just hugging the ball, or you just kind of lay them up on your couch or your chair. As the music starts, we come up, and you're going to bring your arms to first position. We're going to do flex and point, flex and point, lower, turn uh, parallel, up. Flex and point, flex and point, lower, turn out and up. Flex and point, flex and point, lower, Turn in and up, flex and point, flex and point, lower and finish, okay? So when you do this, as you go up into your bridge position, you really want to make sure that you're engaged through the backs of your legs and the backs of your back, your spine, your glutes are helping you hold your hips up as well. And then as you rotate, you really feel those rotators working in your deep, deep hips. And then as you're turned in, you'll really, you should probably feel it in your hamstrings quite a bit. So that's, that's our exercise. Coming up into your bridge, arms first. Flex and point, flex and point, lower down, turn in, lift up into your bridge, and flex and point. Make sure you're using those abdominals, and point shoulders are pressed down, Come back down, turn it out, back up to your bridge. Breathing, flex and point. Flex and point, coming down, turn in, lift up, and flex and point. Flex and point, come down and finish. For our next exercise, you're going to do the plie, so you're going to hold the ball between your heels. You're keeping those legs turned out, and you can have your arms here or in second. And you bend your knees as you flex your feet, then lengthen and point. Bend and flex, lengthen and point. You want to feel those inner thighs engaged. That's what's holding, help your, your inner thighs are helping you hold that ball with those heels, you want to feel those rotators working. So as you bend the knees, don't keep the knees coming toward your face. You want those knees going out. Getting into position, arms in second, and flex, plie, lengthen, and point. Plie, and flex, lengthen, Point. Make sure those shoulders are pressing down. Your neck is feeling lengthened. Good. Keep going. And last one. Next one, we're going to do the double play al second. So, position your ball. If you don't have a ball, you can just draw your leg up the your toe up the leg. Okay, but to get into position with a ball, I like to put it my retiré, the ball in between my foot and leg for the retiré, and then roll it down. And so for this one, you want to be in one nice long line. Make sure these hips aren't spilling backwards. 
but they're stacked one on top of the other. As you roll that ball up, your, your hip is pressing forward as your knee is pressing back. Um, you can either rest your head on your hand here or down on your arm. And then that bottom leg, it's nice to be on that ball of the foot. If that's really hard to do, you can always just lengthen that, that foot down. Next we will do the um, fondue devant and extension devant with the devil pay. So if you have a ball, you can do the fondue with that supporting leg. If you don't have a ball, then you just have to keep that supporting leg straight on your chair, your couch or whatever, and you just do a little petite um, retiré and out, and a little petite retiré, and out to a little higher. Then close fifth, and draw it up. I'll do this. I'll show you. <laughs> okay, I'll show you the two different ways. So, if, if you are on a couch or a chair or something like that, this is what you would do. So you start in your susu, you come up, you do a little retiré, and forward, little retiré, forward, close, and then there's the little lift the arms off for just a moment, which is tough. So you gotta lift those arms off and balance. And then we double pay up, up to retire, to attitude, to extend devant, and close, and then lift, back to the attitude, back to the retire, draw it down. Now, if you are on a ball, and you can do the fondue motion with your supporting leg, it'll look like this. You flex, you flex your foot and bend that leg, take that little retiré, and extend both. And flex and fondue, and extend both. Then close it tight, Lift the arms and lower. Then it's just the double pay to retire, to attitude, to extension devant. Close, lift, to attitude, to retire, draw it down, come down. Make sure your shoulders are pressed down, abdominals are engaged, come up into your bridge and fondue. Extend. Fondue. Extend. Nice rainbow arc. Down. Lift those arms. And lower. And double pay up to your retire. And take it out to nice attitude the bomb. And lengthen that leg. Keep that rotation. Rotation. Close. 
attitude them on. Extend, keep it turned out. And close. basketball, football, whatever you have, between your shins, right below your knees. Your legs start in tabletop.
switch and roll. First, and arabesque, first, and down. First, and arabesque, first, and down. Let's just do first, and fourth, first, and down. First, and fourth, first, and down, okay? Getting our backs nice and strong. All right, here we go. Engaging your abdominals, pressing those shoulders down, up, up, and down. Good 
little workout there. I'm feeling kind of sweaty, kind of tired. So that's good. I hope you guys feel good too. Keep up on the work. If you do this regularly, you'll really feel some improvement and strength in your, in your dancing. So um, keep working hard and I can't wait to see you guys again soon in the studio. Okay, bye.